Churchwood's original cider made by Aston Manor Cider based in Birmingham. Not Herefordshire like most cider producers seem to be. And it says on the back, it says, as a smoother flavour for maximum enjoyment, a full pint bottle as well. And uh, to be honest, I bloody need a pint. So I've just spent the whole afternoon <laughs> emptying the, sh the little shed out. Uh, I found out that the front of the shed, where the um, where the doorway is, has basically gone rotten. So there's been a walkway into my shed for little friends. Um, and uh, yeah, let's pour the drink out. So yeah, I've got, a, you know, obviously it's not like you can go out and buy what you want these days. So I've had to improvise and uh, to be fair i'm very very good at improvising when need to um massive apple aroma off that straight away just by pouring it i can see the, you know the aroma let me just spin this around so actually there we go that looks i do love it's like it's like the, the killer shot isn't it and the only problem is you get my face in the background so <clears throat> it's not that killer but uh yeah so on the pour amber pour whitehead a little bit of lace, a little bit of sporadic lacing around the edge. All about the apple. But anyway, yeah. Um, so, uh, I've got this like uh, 2v2, or is it 3v3? It might even be 3v3. And I've put that at the edge of the shed, drilled the, because it's making the shed a little bit lopsided. So I've leveled it back up again, drilled it across, drilled through just to get it so it doesn't go any more. Filled holes in with wards, screwing it together so it, it makes it all solid. The only thing other to do is to strip it all out and basically start again. I'm not doing that. You know, that's a job for another time. Not in the middle of flipping January. Um, so, yeah, I put everything back in. I've got the neighbour across the way, student, student lad, long hair. No, I don't know if he was doing something in his, because his bedroom backs onto my garden. And he's in his bedroom, it's like he's staring over, freaking the bloody hell out of me. I'm looking and thinking, yeah, he fancies me, which, or, or he's looking at this, he's looking, because his phone or something's on the windowsill. So whether he's looking at the heavens, although it's cloudy, so I don't know what he's going to see, uh, or what. And, uh, you know, you know when you look up and you think, the fuck's he staring at? And you, and you glance again, just, he's still staring. And you think to yourself, fucking hell. You love, and <laughs> just, I've worked on public parks. I've been stared at before, and uh, yeah, even as a, I was about nineteen twenty on the Arboretum, and I'm there working away, and this this lad staring at, me, at life out of me, and I'm thinking, the fuck's he doing? And you know, you get to that stage where you think, he stares once more. There's going to be words said, like, "Oi, you," and uh, you can guess what word I was going to say. And uh, yeah, he carries on staring. Eventually, he, he turns around and gets back on his computer. But yeah, we know it freaks you out. I went up the acid to the wife and said, What that bloke lad's doing on the side is just staring out the window at me. Unless you're trying to psych me out. I mean, it worked because I <laughs> it freaked me out. <sighs> yes, not going down that road. But um, yeah. Unless you've seen these reviews, and he's a beer, beer fan and he's looking and thinks, I'm sure that's him off YouTube, but probably not. You know, I don't, I don't know what, but anyway, gets everything in. I'm at the end and I've had to trim some off the door because the shed's actually tilted a little bit. Rather than mess about, you know, doing a full on, you know, that's a, that's a summer job, doing a full on rejig of the shed, tech, li basically lift, lifting the shed up rejigging the base uh seeing what's underneath obviously uh, i didn't want to do that it's far too much hassle for this time of the year so put the shit you know leveled it off put battens in sorted it out where, where there was a hole there is no hole now and uh, i've left rat poison in there because you know in life a pain at times you know we've all got stresses in life and sometimes 
you know, listening to me whittle on about my stressors, you know, we've all got stressors and how we deal with them. Anyway, I took the, I got it. So the, the, the door shut pretty perfectly. I had to take a bit off the door so it shut perfectly. And then I was on the inside, closed the door like this. I could see there was a gap and I thought, right. I got a piece of wood, screwed it in to the, to the freebie free and it's, it's perfect. And, uh, you know, or to make it awkward. If, if, if anything wants to get into the shed, it will anyway, because it will bite through the bloody wood. But it's all about making it as awkward as possible so it thinks, oh, sod this, and fucks off somewhere else. Um, and I've come to the outside, and my, my, my lock's not shut. I thought, you little get. And... Uh, Lovely crisp apple taste, gotta say. Um, I'll get back to where I am. Move the lock for the shed. But when I move the lock, I can't get it to lock, and I'm there. And I got to the stage of that where I gave up, walked up the house, and just totally gave up. I got I thought that's it, sod it. But you need to lock the shed because it's got all my tools in there electrical tools, mowers, edge trimmers, you know, all that sort of palaver. So I've had to come down, I've switched it around, and it's Put it, moved it down, switched it around, it's working brilliant, brilliant, now. isn't it amazing, mate? Sometimes you hit a brick wall, and this is where I, where I actually wanted to get to. Sometimes you just totally hit a brick wall. You're trying, it's not working. You go away, let your brain calm down, you know, bring the anxiety levels down. Do it again, try it again. I, I spun this bloody thing around, so it, and it's opening and closing like a beauty. So back to the cider and that's what we came for it is freezing this beer it's actually warmer outside than it is in the beer room because the temperatures have warmed up a little bit hey whew, really good thing as well oh work tomorrow over at Newark again tomorrow at the Newark site and I'm edging tree bases off all day long. Basically putting a lovely edge on each tree base. At the moment, the grass is all the way up to the tree. And then in past times, the gardener, so, you know, people who call themselves gardeners, would strim all the way up to the tree base, which is awful because it kills the bloody tree rips the bark off the tree and can kill kill a tree by doing that. Especially when, and if you take the bark off all the way around the tree and ring the tree, which sounds a bit wrong, in, you know, in certain practices. But um, if you ring the tree, you will kill the tree. Always handed to know if you've got a neighbour who's a bit of a, an anchor, but rhymes with W, and uh, with it, who's got a tree that's an annoyance, you just go on, chip a bit of, Go all the way around this tree, rip off the bark, that tree will die. Most 99 times out of 100, well. And uh, which is not a good way, obviously, with the climate, but you know, there's people, idiots with trees. They shouldn't have trees, big trees in their back garden. And uh, I've got one next door to me here. Yeah. I don't realise what their, what the problem with that tree is going to be. But hey, uh, as long as it doesn't, the day it's my shed roof and causes damage is the day they get a letter suing them for their tree. And this is the beer room. This is my, the epicenter of the Raggy's Beer Reviews. You know, uh, other than that, you know, just a great place to come down out, out the way from the house for now, you know, for a little bit. But anyway, um, yep, yeah, I've lost where I was. Back to the side. Lovely, crisp, refreshing apple taste. Very easy going. Pint bottle, I'm not sure where I got it from. I presume it was either B&M or Home Bargains. They would be the likeliest candidates. Um, yeah, very nice. You know, can't, you can't fault it. Um, there's a, you know, there's a bit of a mis, uh, misconception that branded stuff taste better than the stuff that you don't really know. No, that's not, you know, if there's something I've learnt 
in the, the two years, two and a half years now of reviewing beers. And I've even got to like 1,290 subscribers. Wow, been slow. But um, although I've drunk some nice stuff over the years. But anyway, um, it's not all about just gaining reviewers. I'm not here for the money, I'm here for the experience and uh, delivering something rather unique to, to, you know, beer drinkers across the world, even the people across the world actually watch my reviews. But, um, and the ramblings of a 49 year old from Nottingham, you know, who is not perfect by no means, but who is generally a nice person who drinks a little bit more than what he should do. And I've looked at people's reviews today, and I review more than most on the internet, which is a bit uh, naughty, I suppose, concerning. But these are all honest drinks. Basically, what I drink on, on reviews is what I'm drinking these days. I don't really drink anything other than what I'm doing. And I've got a genuine love of beer, you know, alcohol rather. Um, it's not just about getting drunk, it's enjoying the taste, the aroma, you know, so much more to it than just getting drunk. You can get drunk on any old rubbish. So 4.5%, good sessionable cider. And you know, it's nice that I actually won um, <clears throat> today. Hopefully, that's the little shed done and dusted. I've got a bit of an issue with the um, hot tub broom at the bottom. I need to put a piece of wood, basically, on the bottom of the door to stop anything, leaves blowing in. But also, not just leaves, because if leaves can blow in, other things can get in. So I'm going to got to do just just put a bit of a, a batten on the bottom of the door, one that you can open the door perfectly with, but it just stops anything blowing in. There were always, you know, when you build stuff, there's always little tweaks you have to do. You know, it's just as simple as that. Um, oh my god, it's cold. So this is another of my uh, short dated stuff. I'm not going to tell you the date it ran out, but it was a while back. Um, but it still tastes great. So never, ever be put off by stuff that's out of date. And actually, sp speaking to some of the people that come on my beer reviews, the live beer reviews, some of those people have got stuff that's 20 years out of date. And it's like, oh, my God. You know, I thought I was risking it about a year and a half. But, um, yeah, you know, it's... Uh, God, it's amazing to see. And, and then some of this stuff, you know, probably tastes just as good. And it's just the fact that once it's sealed, that's it. Jobs are good. And, you know, it's not worth worrying about too much. As long as you, when you crack it open, you have a sip. One thing, you look at it, you think, if it looks normal, then you think, yeah, that looks drinkable. If, it, if, it's, if it looks dodgy, then yeah, don't. But if it looks normal-ish, then have a go at it. Oh, I just needed that. I felt defeated about half an hour ago. I was there and I, thought, oh, I can't get this bloody door to lock. And obviously it's, you've got all my tools in there, so you need to lock it. If someone was to burgle us, then fair play, they're going to do it anyway. But, uh, you know, it's peace of mind. Isn't it? You go to bed and you think, no, I ain't got to do anything there. I mean, this week I've got multiple new lights to put on. I've got as many. I'm, I'm taking the, the floodlight that's here. Oh, it's me. I'm taking the floodlight off and putting two PIR normal lights on. They look like lanterns, look beautiful. Um, I'm actually putting some Christmas lights on from the, the shed to the house and back. Uh, 400 lights and basically making it so it's like a walkway so you know 
putting a time, I probably put a timer on it to come on for a few hours each night so that when I want to walk to the shed and do a beer review, it's all lit up, it looks gorgeous. And that's, you know, it's more for the summer, summer months as well. And it's this thing of creating the out, bringing, bringing the inside outside and creating an outside environment where you can host, like, not parties, but certainly, you know, bring your mates around, have a bit of a chat and enjoy life. We're only here once that we know of, at least, unless we come back as a dog. For God's sakes, don't, I don't want to come back as a rat. Jesus Christ, I hate the little bastards. <clears throat> Pardon my French. But yeah, you know, I'd love to come back as a Cocker Spaniel. Oh, bless you. All that stroking. All that licking. Running around when you've had a good poo. You're like, oh, get that rid of that. Yeah, I've had a good poo, Dad. Yeah. Ah, oh, dear. Yeah. <sighs> I've got a sense of humour that's um, different. <laughs> Do I care? Do I? But, uh, yeah, you know. You know, far too many people take themselves far too seriously in this life. And, uh, you know, get out there, enjoy life. Get on roller coasters. You know, theme parks, getting on a roller coaster, even if it scares the absolute sh out of you. Um, you know, getting on them and enjoying that. Oh, God. There's nothing better. I mean, a few weeks ago, we was at Alton Towers. Went with my daughter and my, my son-in-law and my grandson and our son as well, obviously the wife. And I had a great day there. It was pissing down all day. It was freezing. It was wet. But we had a good day. And going on the rides, and it was like, you know, I was embracing life, being there. And it, it was great just to embrace that. And uh, even though it scares the bejesus out of me sometimes, this uh, spin wall wizard, I was not scared by the ride. I was more the fact that I was breathing into my jacket and keeping warm. So, all about the apple taste. And, you know, if you're just drinking this in the pub, pint in the pub, 20 minutes for a pint, that's a good, that's a decent um, time to drink a pint. I mean, I, I've made a pint last two hours before. God knows how. I must have been sipping it. But, um, you know, usually about 20, 25 minutes a pint when you go out drinking. Usually. is nice enjoyed it <clears throat> very much a traditional apple cider uh good bite in this in you know in the apple and very drinkable you know if you're a strong bow fan or a fan of the uh certainly apple ciders this is a brand here that may not be as well known as some of the other brands out there it's not from herefordshire which is a bit different but then again Blue Barrel Cider in Nottingham, around the corner from me, well, the, the headquarters is, a lady called Emma. And uh, that's when I, when I tag them in on Facebook, that's what I get. And, uh, you know, it's not about where it's from. It's about how it tastes. And it tastes spot on. Spot on the money. So a still cider with a nice bitey apple flavour, apple on the nose, all the way through, very decent. Out of five, for me, 4.3 out of five, a very nice cider. And that's it for this uh, cider review. I'm absolutely bolted from going to the house to get warm, freezing. Thanks for watching, see you soon. Cheers. Oh, it's goad.